What's up, my beater bros? Bearded Maniac here with another NBA free agency video. Now, I learned my lesson. I shut off the commentary, shut off crowd volume, so it would basically just be me, the ball, and the players. Now, if you can see the teams here, we have the Utah Jazz and the Boston Celtics, and there can only be one reason why I would have those. Yes, at this point, this is old news, but I had work and prior engagements yesterday, so I wasn't able to get the video out sooner. But Gordon Hayward is now joining the Celtics as a free agent. Right now they are in the conundrum of clearing cap space to be able to sign him to that max co contract. Personally, if they could trade some of their better players, like not better players, but like Terry Rozier, Jonas Jerebko, for either lower salary players or second round draft picks, I'd be game for that. I'd be game for that. But, um, what does this do for the Celtics? And what does this do for the Jazz, in my opinion? Well, I don't think the Jazz will hurt necessarily too much, because I don't think they were competing with the Warriors anyway, if Hayward stayed. But they do have Ingles to back step back on. Granted, he's not as good as Hayward, but Ingles has potential. He's not a bad player. But what this does for the Celtics is... This gets rid of the offensive nightmare that is Amir Johnson, because he was signed with the six Sixers. It gets rid of their nightmare at the power forward position. Probably the number one cause why they lost in the playoffs when they lost. Not against the Cavs, but against like the Bulls and them. What this does for me is, or what I think at least they're going to try to do is, since Crowder has a larger frame, you can see right there compared to Hayward, Crowder has a bulkier frame. He's not necessarily taller, but he's more physical. So I think they move him to the power forward position and keep Hayward at the small forward position to keep more of a small ball lineup. I know Hayward doesn't, or Horford doesn't like to play pure center. He likes to play more power forward and that's kind of one reason why he went to Boston but I believe that um that he will get to play some power forward in some lineups it depend all depends on how the lineup goes you also have Jason Tatum with the Celtics now and Jalen Brown so what do I think that does for the lineup as well you have sub packages where probably the starters will be Crowder and Hayward at forward Horford at center Bradley and Thomas at guard probably the sub packages will have Tatum coming in as the primary small forward backup but when he when Jalen Brown comes in Tatum might move to power forward or a backup shooting guard because Tatum has that potential where he could be one of, he could be in a bigger lineup be a bigger presence in Avery Bradley if his defense gets work on or what they could also do to get a bigger bigger lineup is move Bradley to point guard or Marcus Smart if they don't get rid of him move Tatum to small or move Tatum to guard move or, or put in Hayward at small forward and then move Crowder to power forward and have Horford play center that'd be probably one of their biggest lineups they could pull off successfully who knows Granted, these um, young guys with Tatum and Jalen, I think they benefit from having Hayward there because I believe the Hayward's play style suits Tatum and Brown more than Crowder's does. So I believe learning from Hayward, if they can learn anything from Hayward, will benefit them both greatly, especially Tatum because he has so much raw potential. And I hope he succeeds well with the Celtics. Overall, I'd rate this move... Uh, B plus for the Celtics. Jazz, I, I'm sorry if you're a Jazz fan. They are still a good team. They still have possibly the best tall defender in the league in Rudy Gobert. The French Nightmare is what I call him. He is just horrific and horrifically intimidating when he's healthy. Now... How I rate this move for the for Gordon Hayward himself, I would say, what was your reasoning for the Celtics? Is it the money? 
that we offered you plus the prestige? Or, or are you chicken shitting and you just wanted it out of the West because you figured it would be easier to get to the conference championships if you were in the East where there's really only two playoff contenders? Because now the two conference championship teams that are most likely going to be in there are the Celtics and the Cavs. Now, that's going to change shortly. It all depends on how the Sixers do. If the Sixers actually end up doing well, I could see the playoff contender seriously being boiled down to the Raptors, the Sixers, the Celtics, and the Cavs. I feel like this year, the Wizards got left in the dust. It's kind of sad. They were a solid team last year. They had a really good record, top four seed and everything. But I just feel like everyone else left them behind. I know the Cavs didn't make any major moves, but they still got a little better, maybe. And the Wizards just <clears throat> stayed. Especially if they managed to lose Otto Porter. That's going to hurt them incredibly. Because, yeah, I know Otto Porter isn't necessarily one of the top five small forwards in the league. But he's one of those two-way players he's pretty damn good on offense he's pretty solid on defense he's just one of those it doesn't hurt to have him kind of guys because even if you get even if they sign someone who's really good on offense they might hurt on defense if they sign someone who's really good on defense it might hurt them on offense and they need as many people to help out Bradley Beal and John Wall and Gortat all of them so anyway guys Tell me what you think of the Hayward signing to the Boston Celtics in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And the next major signing, you trust me, you will hear about it as soon as I can possibly get it to you guys. And don't forget, Until Dawn will be coming to this channel. So if you want to watch that, stay tuned. And I eventually might, I'm going to be trying to stream more um, Major League Baseball rebuilds. If you guys want to stay tuned for that, follow me on Twitch. It's the same as my PSN. W K W three S L K three R sixty nine. Now you may say, oh, this goes a tool because of the numbers, but no, it's a math thing to me. You got three three six nine. You got three plus three equals six. Three times three equals nine. It's one of those Illuminati confirmed kind of things. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.